As you rejoin us, may the Holy Spirit reignite the fire of faith within you, and may you be a shining light for Christ in our midst. We acknowledge that this message was originally shared at the same time last year, and the guidance remains relevant for this year as well. It has been entrusted to Jelicardia. Before we delve into today's topic, let us come together in prayer, offering our heartfelt supplications to God the Father. Dear Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who you sacrificed to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, we humbly present our sacrifices to you. We accept the challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls during the time of warning. We implore you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it hard to return, and to accept your merciful heart, that they may offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Now, let us attentively listen to the message from our woman. Dearest, daughter, I extend my heartfelt thanks for heeding my call. Beloved, I sense your sorrow and isolation in this world, along with all its troubles. Oh, my precious children, be mindful that this season will present its share of trials. The pandemic has been employed to prepare you for what lies ahead, and without a steadfast faith, you will struggle. The suffering will become even more palpable around you. Only those with a vibrant and unshakable faith will find shelter under the watchful eyes of our angels. I implore you to bring souls to God, to speak of Him to those yet unacquainted. You will soon witness fire descending from the heavens. It will be the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and some illnesses will be healed. The warning is drawing near. Be prepared. However, those who refuse to kneel and acknowledge God will face everlasting consequences. Pray for Syria, for it is from there that the war will erupt. Pray for the Church, where they will soon proclaim the one true faith and advocate for universal brotherhood, once again nailing Jesus Christ to the cross. Now, I leave you with blessings from my mother, invoking the names of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. October 26, 2022 Beloved daughter, I wholeheartedly express my gratitude for your response to my call. Within your souls, my dear children, I beseech you to heed the authentic prophets of this final era, for their messages serve as guiding lights for you. My desire is to rescue each of my children, and thus, I continue to exert influence upon the earth. It is often said that none are as blind as those who choose not to see, and even among those of faith, there are those who refuse to acknowledge the signs of the times. Oh, my children, this is an era of trial, with darkness enveloping the entire earth. I implore you to pray fervently, for repentance is greatly needed. Furthermore, I beseech you to continue praying at home on Satan's feast day and to light a blessed candle. Regrettably, the cults of demons will engage in horrific ceremonies, but I advise you not to be fearful. My angels are abundant, and their numbers will only increase with time. Everything is prepared for the ultimate battle. Therefore, I bestow blessings upon you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. This concludes the first message, dear brothers and sisters. Before delving into the next message, let us take a moment to express gratitude to the Virgin Mary in the comments section for the previous message. Additionally, let us like this video to support its wider dissemination. May God bless all of you. If we have carried out these actions, let us now proceed to the next announcement. The following message was sent on September 3, 2022. Beloved children of mine, I wish to express my gratitude for your response to my call. Deep within your hearts, my dear ones, my Son is present with you, overflowing with boundless love and infinite compassion for all. Many among you yearn for signs, but I ask, 
what signs are you seeking, when some merely utter smoke instead of the word of God? Furthermore, many among you persistently demand more without showing gratitude for the blessings you already have. I implore you to dedicate your prayers to the church, which is currently struggling with its own challenges. The world is steeped in darkness, and your sacred duty is to serve as radiant beacons, instilling unwavering reverence for the truth of God's word. My dear children, understand that this is not an era for pursuing ephemeral pursuits, for the Son of Man will soon be among you. I advise you to bear your burdens with love, viewing them as purifying tools upon the earth. If you endure them with joy, you will reap abundant rewards. However, if you carry them in despair, the promised joy will remain elusive. Additionally, I implore you to direct your prayers towards the volcanic activity. At this time, I conclude by bestowing upon you blessings as a mother, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. The volcanic eruption continues with notable lava and strong ash emissions. The lava flow advances on multiple fronts, with particular emphasis on the FGI lava flow in the western Naples area, southern Italy. Now, let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for updates on our latest videos. What a joy it has been to have you with us today. Your presence has added depth and meaning to our time of worship. We want to extend our sincerest thanks for choosing to spend this sacred time with us. As you leave, may you carry with you the words and teachings that have been shared. May they be a source of comfort in times of trial, a wellspring of wisdom in moments of uncertainty, and a beacon of hope when the path ahead seems dim. Remember, our journey of faith is one of growth and transformation, and we are grateful to walk this path with you. May God's grace and peace be with you always.